Well, Z and I are going to go on a little hike today. Where, you ask? Uh, no, not sleeping dry. Up there. On top of Mount McKay. We're going to go hike to the top and then, yeah, we're going to go, oh, we're going to go hike up there. So, stick around, come along. So Kevin dropped us off at the lookout point. We're halfway up there. And we're gonna hike up top there. There's a way up along the back. So you get up, or you can get up at the front. You go through there. And uh, so I can't go the front way with Zena because it's pretty vertical up the front as the actual climbing. Uh, I've done that quite a few years ago, but now I can go up with Zena along the it's back. It's hard to see it in the, in the Sleeping Giants where we, <coughs> Zena and I always hike. A bit quite a haze. I don't know if you can pick it up on video, but yeah, sometimes we'll hike like all like and we hike the entire Cabian there to Twin Pine. We hike all along there, through there, and to the giant. <coughs> yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go get started on this hike. Years and years ago, my friend and I, we hiked up to the top. Zena and I are going. And then we came across along the top, and we were up at that edge there and we actually climbed down that whole face like totally free climb down craziest thing i've ever done <laughs> okay z now we're going all right comes through the front, it comes down, up, straight up through here, up into here, and you gotta climb up into there. See, that's why I can't do it with Xena. Pretty much with the rest of the hike is all across the top. It's all just barren rock. So you're on the highest point of the mountain. Right here is 1,583 feet high. Up, yeah, I believe that's yeah, fifteen hundred eighty-three feet. Uh, uh, and there's my hometown, Slender Bay. I haven't been up here for quite a while, a couple, a couple of years. And just look at that. This is another spot I'd like to go to. Where is it? It's got some just straight cliffs going down. I think that's right over here.
that's a shame though. Great Lakes and Bow Water. Is it still Bow Water? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's the there's the mill. Uh, over there is the rest of all the Norwester Mountains. Go across there. That's where we hiked before. If you look at that one video, we did a hike in the Norwester Mountains. Went up on top of that mountain there. And then yeah, there's the airport. I'll just point out a few things. And uh, Bombardier, is that, yeah, that's Bombardier there. The factory. And again, there's where we live right there. Yeah, we're just hanging up, hanging around up here. Just doing nothing, just have a couple of pepperoni sticks and, <laughs> yeah, pepperoni sticks? You want some pepperoni sticks? Want another one? And I cannot believe it is November. It's like, what, November 6th, 7th? 6th or 7th? It's November and look, this is what I'm wearing. It's plus 15 degrees right now. <laughs> this is awesome. Hopefully this kind of continues throughout November. Because once it gets cold, once we get into December, January, especially January, February, we're we'll going to be looking at minus 20. Oh, look at that big stretch. come up here a lot and I used to sit right along at that edge with my feet dangling over the cliff <laughs> I won't do that with her here like I got her attached to me <laughs> Godfrey back there. This is the other end. Yeah, we're on the right path. Now, just where to go from here, that's the question. Maybe just up, up there.
Absolutely beautiful day. So beautiful for this. Okay, so I'm thinking, not positive, but try to, I gotta go down through there and up through there. I believe that's the way, that's what we're gonna try anyways. Absolutely beautiful from here. This is why I like going up the back. So much more peaceful. The front there, you just hear all the sounds of the city. Looking back at all this, all the Norwester Mountains, spectacular. Beautiful, eh, Zena? giant. Hardly see it in this haze. A bit of haze in the air there. You barely see it. Gotta admit, kind of lost right now. It's just kind of following what looked like the trail and then it's just nothing. It's all into this kind of open area. Not lost, lost. I mean, I can find my way through the bush, get back to the front end. And we're good to go. And go, oh yeah, okay, so I just say, best way, oh, I'm still a ways away. Try to make my way to that tower. If I can get to that tower, I'm good to go. Just trying to get through some of this bush. It's brutal. Now, I don't know if that's supposed to be the end, where like we end, where it seemed to, the trail just seemed to stop. Maybe that's the end of the trail. I thought it would loop around back to close to the start, but uh, doesn't seem to loop around. Could always go back the way we came, but I'd rather just try to push forward, get to that tower. It's right over there. I think it all opens up. Now we're back over here again. So we're just gonna take it easy here for a while. Gives lots of time before Kevin comes, pick, comes to pick us up. I'll start hiking down. Relax here for about half hour, then start the hike down. Such an awesome feeling sitting on these cliffs. Just looking out at the city. Absolutely spectacular. I know I said it before, but it's so relaxing just to sit here. Somebody wants it's a pepperoni stick sitting there. So we're gonna head down here soon. Okay, so if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. But uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that bell notification. Alright, thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time. Bye.